In the previous step, we saw that when I do a MVN install, Maven does a lot of things. So when I run MVN install, first thing is it's doing a compile, test compile, test, and then it's building the jar up and installing it to the local repository. How does Maven know to do these steps? How does, what are the sequence of steps that Maven does? That's actually defined by something called a build life cycle. Maven follows something called a build life cycle. Let's look at it in detail. The build life cycle defines the steps that Maven follows when you execute a command. The different steps in the build life cycle is what you see in the screen right now. For example, if I do a MVN test, so MVN space test, if you run it from the command line, then there are three things that get executed. The first thing is the validate. Maven checks if the pom.xml is valid. I mean, to check the XML syntax, check it against XSD and things like that. The next thing it does is it compiles the test classes. As part of compile, it also compiles the test classes as well. And then the MVN test would run the unit tests. So these three steps are run when I do MVN test. This is a command which we did not run, which was MVN package. So if we did MVN package, Maven would have created the jar file, but it would not have installed it to a local repository. If I do a MVN install, what, the Ma what Maven does is all the steps that are defined before it. So it does a compile, test, package. If there are integration tests, then it would run them too. And then it would also do the install to the local repository. So these are the sequence of steps which Maven always follows. So this is what is called a build life cycle. A build life cycle is nothing but the sequence of steps that Maven follows when you execute any command. So if you execute any command in here, the steps which are earlier to it are all executed. The build life cycle is one of the important things which makes Maven very easy to use. It kinds of creates a structure which all the projects can follow. So in any project, you first compile the source files, then compile the test and then run the test. This is kind of the standard way you do things. Why do we need to do it? Why do we need to define these steps individually in an AND script file? That's what Maven eliminates by having this build life cycle. Thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us. At In 28 Minutes, we defined a learning roadmap for Java and front-end developers. We created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen. There are four things you can do to make best use of these courses. Number one is Udemy. You'll find a link in the description of the video to our Udemy profile. We are teaching a lot of courses on Udemy and most of them are free. Number two, visit our website www.in28minutes.com. You'd find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to Udemy and our GitHub code as well. Number three, visit our GitHub repository. With more than 20 repositories covering varied examples, it's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In28Minutes, your destination for high quality step-by-step -step courses.